thank you very much members of the press uh, and we appreciate your support my name is Omondi Nyonje I am the branch secretary of the Kenya National Union of Nurses uh, its branch which is Oma Bay County branch uh, the reason for us coming here today is first to communicate to the public also to communicate to our employer and also to communicate to the press and members of uh, media fraternity that as of yesterday and that is today 17th the nurses of Oma Bay County and by extension even other health workers of this county have decided to to withdraw services because of repetitive delay in salary payment as we speak today it is 17th february 2022 we are yet to be paid january 2022 salaries yet other counties in fact most counties all counties have paid salaries we don't understand why it could be in homa bay that up to to date we have not been paid the same thing happened last month with december salary we got december salary about 21st of january we don't understand why this should happen and most importantly we live on 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 on, on in, in in rental houses we have to pay our children go to school we have to pay school fees we commute to work that salary has something called commute allowance so if you don't pay it how do we commute to, to work so we are saying we will be out parading every day to the office of the governor until those salaries are paid secondly last year june 2021 some of our members got underpaid salaries that is to say your sleep talks about a certain amount and you get less in your account the county government after a series of negotiations agreed to 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 clear by paying this money they paid for about three months up to november and stopped so as we speak today there are several of our members who are yet to get their june 2021 pay in full it is not acceptable and it is it is it is a criminal offense that if they can't sort out we will look at issues and and other options including going to court to charge whoever paid less money and is not ready to to, to pay the full amount so for us we want to be sorry to the public but we don't have any other option because we must also sustain ourselves and must also sustain our coming to work that we shall be there shall be disruption of services until the county government of Oma Bay pays in full. The service delivery in health department shall be suspended coming midnight of today by clinical officers because of failure to pay January salaries as at today the 17th of February of 2022. We want to inform the members of the public that clinical officers and other health workers we shall not be martyrs to work without pay and also to risk ourselves without protective devices to offer services to the public. Come the midnight today, we shall all down tools in offering services to the people and to the members of the public. But we are very sorry for doing so because we can't do it without payment and we can't do it if we can't support ourselves to come to the places of work. We request all members of the public to kindly take your patients who are admitted in our hostels, all public hostels in Omabay County, to other private hostels or other counties that have already paid their salaries. Another thing, delaying payment of salary causes other health workers and everyone in Omabay County also to lack the services that we offer. Because if you check our NAFE services, it says member is not covered. That one applies to all health workers and also specifically clinical officers in Oma Bay County. So come midnight today, there will be no services in Oma Bay County government hospitals until such a time that salaries shall be paid. Thank you. Our salaries for January have not yet been paid. So due to this reason, we are urging the public to know that the nutrition is working under the hospitals won't be uh, in work uh, from tomorrow. My next point is about uh, the, 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 the care of healthcare workers in terms of PPs, those gadgets that we use to protect ourselves, especially masks. I'm saying that the county government has not been in a position to avail the masks and other pro protective equipment to our staff. So due to these reasons, we're asking the county government 
to do the necessary. That's all.